Ah, the cool deliciousness of March. Even though they do start selling shamrock shakes in February, I refuse to drink one of them in February because there's only one good thing that comes out of February and that was Grandpa Bob. So even though I could have had a shamrock shake long before now I'm wearing green today and uh, I guess getting myself ready to partake of the only reason that I visit McDonald's ever. Uh, I'm not a fan of McDonald's. I just don't think their food's all that good and all that healthy. But a shamrock shake, on the other hand, is delicious. Is delicious. And every time I think of a shamrock shake, I think of a friend of mine who I've given the pseudonym Freckles. And uh, I feel bad that she's not working with me anymore and I can't give her a shamrock shake today. I wonder who this is. Hello? No, she's not here right now. Can I take a message? Hair appointment, 10 o'clock on Friday. Okay, I'll write that down. Thank you. Yep, bye. And I need to write that down. I need to be a man of my word with that because... I have brain damage, and Grandma, well, Grandma has some issues too. As a matter of fact, Grandma just got back from outside shaking out a rug. You know, there was a dirty rug in the house, so she went out and cleaned it. And she shook it out outside. Mom, hair, appointment, Friday. And she couldn't remember where the rug went when she was done shaking it. So it's kind of an interesting household we got here. We got me with my brain damage. We got uh, grandma with her Alzheimer's symptoms. So it's kind of an interesting house. Mom, hair, appointment Friday, now 10 a.m. All right, so I will go take this note upstairs after I'm done waxing about shamrock shakes. Now, Wednesday is a day where I do a little bit of writing on the internet. And these days, I've been writing in blue font and in red font. Um, here is my writing for Scarlett's letter. Uh, Scarlett's birthday is coming up very soon. Her birthday is the 8th of March. And I'm having this ethical debate on whether or not I should send her... Um, a birthday present, birthday card, birthday movie, whatever. Or should I just, you know, let let her go, so to speak, and not contact her ever again? That's not my style. I really think that I am going to send her a little something in the mail. You know that I'm thinking about her on her birthday. And um, I, I just saved this image to my computer. That's Grimace. Grimace is a big, a big friend of mine. And uh, normally he's purple. But today I found a picture of him decked out in green for uh, St. Patrick's Day and Shamrock Shakes. So I will probably put this picture on my website today and write about uh, my love of Shamrock Shakes. And uh, notice that none of these Shamrock Shakes, none of these classic images have whipped cream on them or a cherry. Someone told me, disturbing but true, that shamrock shakes now have a big goop of wet cream on top of them and a maraschino cherry on top of that. And I think that's a tragedy. I think that's terrible because you just don't mess with an original. You just don't mess with an original. Now, I'm planning on probably taking this camera uh, with me in honor one. And I'm going to go and buy a shamrock shake and probably catch that on video but here again lies the problem i would love to do that right before work um take my camera put it in my car drive to uh mcdonald's on the way to work because there is a mcdonald's on the way get my shamrock shake videotape it to see if it has whipped cream and cherries on top and then go to work however I would be breaking the rules if I do that because having this camera or a camera that's just like this one in my car is against policy and I think that's really 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 unfortunate and um, 
I've kind of been, I had I had my I had my personal review uh, yesterday. Uh, my boss took me into his office and he gave me my review on how good I am at my job. And from what I could tell, uh, I was above and beyond good, like special forces good as far as my job goes, as far as dealing with troubled children, uh, my, my coworkers, and everything else. He did say, and it was mentioned, that I do have some issues with recording devices, and I need to work on that. And I am. I'm trying to problem solve, and hopefully there can be a way that I can have my job in my life and my video journal. So my plan involves this safe. Um, it's a, it's a lockbox with a key. Um that uh, could probably be used to make sure that uh, my camera is not used for uh, illegal purposes while on the property. Now, technically, I think even if a camera with no batteries is stored inside of one of these boxes under lock and key, technically, by the law and the letter and the little highlighted phrase, where's my highlighter? There's my highlighter. There was a little highlighted phrase on a on a big pile of rules that I would still be breaking the law and, and, and breaking the rules at work. And uh, that's really unfortunate. I still think that common sense needs to win out here. If people can bring in their 4G super uh, Justin Bieber or whatever her name, whatever his name is, is it her or him? I'm not sure. Bring his type of phone into the workplace with TV, movies, uh, internet, video, phone, and those can be on the property. I should be able to have this rinky-dink $70 camera in, locked in my car safe. I believe with all my heart that could come to pass, and that's what I'm going to try to lobby and try to try to make happen. So I will probably go buy my Shamrock Shake today, hopefully get it on video, Come back home, put my camera back where it belongs, but I am going to take this fire safe uh, with me to work today. I'm going to put it um, in my in my van and drive around with it. And I guess if someone wants to search my car at work, they can. And maybe there'll be a camera in there, and maybe they won't. Maybe they won't, but uh, there won't. But I won't lie. I won't lie. If there's a camera in that box. I will say yes indeed there is because I've told my boss and I want to tell everybody I will not lie to save my job. Like a lot of people might say that in theory, but I bet when the chips are down, you know, you got to have that paycheck. I mean, here's my last paycheck. It's kind of stubby. I know they say like a paycheck stub. Well, all the suspensions I've been getting, my paychecks have been pretty stubby lately to say the least, but... Uh, like that paycheck is not as important to me as my word. And uh, my paycheck is not as important to me as this video project. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. However, and I will say this, helping people is much more important than this video project. And I do enjoy helping the kids at work each and every day. I always will. But there are tons and tons and tons of people in the world that need help. And I can find them if need be. I can find them elsewhere if I have to. But uh, I hope that I don't. I really, I was really kind of proud in my in my review. And uh, my boss printed out a lot of um, letters from parents and uh, letters from coworkers saying what a, what an admirable job I do. And um, I felt good. I felt good. And maybe it's time for me to retire on top of my game and and go on to the next thing. But. Uh, there's got to be a way to have your shake and drink it too. Does that make any sense? Kind of like cake. You know, have your cake and eat it too. But uh, there's got to be a way that I can have my shake and drink it too. And I'm going to figure it out. <laughs>